Soul. Good morning, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. Hey, today I'm doing a little kind of little easy, easy, a little quick, simple video. Hey, today I'm excited. I'm going and pick up my uh, venison deer, however you want to say it, that I had processed. I had a deer uh, that was uh, that I had, had from last year, and uh, I had put in my big freezer at my job, and I just need to get it processed before it, the busy season. Because if, you, if you're hunters or you country people, uh, bow season open this weekend, and when you hunt with a bow and arrow. And then next month, the first of November, is, is actual rifle deer season. So I need to get this stuff to the processor before he get busy on the new harvesters coming in. So I usually do this once a year around this time because I get a lot of chili meat made. I get a lot of pan sausage made and I get a lot of hamburger made. Like I've told y'all in previous video, I buy very little meat throughout the year. I might go to the, if I do, I'll buy it in bulk at my local uh, uh, meat market. But I never go to the store and buy meat. I get it harvested. I, like I said, I got ground meat. I last me pretty much the rest of the year. Pan, uh, pan sausage, what I use for breakfast, and my lasagnas and all that stuff. I got it last the year, and then chili meat, of course. I got chili meat the last for a long time. And what it is, I had uh, this past year, I, uh, I only kept half the deer. I had it took off the bone and put it in the freezer in bags until I got to it later because the whole deer is just too much. So it's only me and then I get a rest of my mom. So it's really me and my mom. And then I share a little for my neighbors and friends, of course, but the majority of it goes in my freezer and then I take some to my mom. I don't take it all to her because some people just come in her house and take things out of her freezer without knowing it. So I keep the bulk of it in my freezer and then uh, as she need it, she'll let me know then I bring more down to her. So I'm going today. I'm gonna pick up. Uh, I got about. I took up about 50 pounds, and now what they put, and you know, they add beef to it, to uh, to my hamburger meat, and the chili add fat to it, so it don't be so dry. So I got about 75 pounds of uh, hamburger, pan sausage, and chili meat. I need to go pick up. So it's in a little small town, like 30 minutes. Uh, West here of Cadian called Belleville, Texas. They are the best. I've been doing business with these people for 15 years, I think. I always take my meat to them because the reason I do, uh, they take care of your meat. Because I take care of my meat when I process I make sure it's properly cooled down and properly uh, cleaned and everything. I'm very careful with my meat when I take it in. And when you take it in there, they tag your meat and they keep it your meat. They don't mix it with anybody else's. And when you get it back, I'm gonna show you, it's perfectly vacuum plat. They vacuum pack it flat, where it'll fit in your freezer nice and it's not roll or nothing like that. It's flat, uh, vacuum plat freezer. They put my name on it, the date is processed and everything. So when I reach in the freezer, I can tell what date it is and when it was done, how old it is. Matter of fact, I got a some that's about a year old. I'm gonna try to, I think I gotta give it away because all this is not gonna fit in my freezer. But anyway, I'll figure it out. Lots of neighbors and friends. Of course, my mama, she been asking about it. Baby, where's the deer you're supposed to get processed so I can surprise her with some deer meat? But anyway, y'all kind of sit back. I'm going to get some gas here, and I will be back here when I get close to Belleville, Texas, and I'll show y'all what I got. About 8 to 75 pounds of venison meat for the should last me over a year. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I'm almost to Belleville. I'm about 9 miles outside of Belleville here. Like I say, it's a small country town. I think Belleville got about seven, eight thousand people in it, maybe a little bit more. I don't know for sure, but yeah. Um, like I say, I'm always excited when it's time to pick up my deer harvest. So yeah, I'll um, check back in with y'all later on here when I when I get there and kind of give you a little tour. Of the, it's an old time butcher shop. You walk in this place and the smell and the smokiness and then they, you know they're cutting the meat there right there for you. You tell them what you want and they'll cut it for you and wrap it up in the for you right there. And it's just it's awesome butch shop. They got jellies and jams and all kinds of stuff in there. You know, this place been around different. You can also they even got barbecue. You want to buy some barbecue, you even got barbecue in there. So anyway, y'all just uh sit back here and I'll be back in about 10 minutes or so when 
I get to Belleville, then we'll I'll give you a tour around there, and, and then I'll pick up my uh, your sausage, chili, and uh, hamburger meat. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are in the city of Belleville. It actually have a little bit over 4,000 people in this little town here. You can see over there, see that Belleville Meat Market? Let me see if I can widen this. I'm waiting on the light here. Belleville Meat Market right there. Been here since I don't know how long, since I've been in Houston and been here. So anyway, sitting at the light, waiting for the light to turn. Green walking. There we go. Walking on a turn here. In here, and first I'm gonna go in the front. The process is in actually in the back, but uh, I'm gonna go here in the front here and give y'all a little tour of the place here. And uh, I will uh, come back out when it's time to uh, I'll be right back when I go inside and give y'all a little tour. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we're gonna go inside here. It'll be a meat market, y'all. It's an old meat market. Processing pan just right back. Of course, I gotta drive back here. I can't walk. I gotta pick it up. But they got the front of the store there, and this is where you pick up your, your actual meat that I'm about to pick up. So it's right here. They got a separate facility right here in the back. So this is it right here where you can pick up your your product. So that's exactly what I'm about to do. So. I'll be right back once I pick it up. All right, y'all, I am back here and I got all my meat here in the, y'all see here? This is my hamburger meat. Over here, I got my, this is my, uh, this is the hamburger meat. This here, the pan sausage. I got more of this, I love my breakfast sausage. And over here, 
we got our chili meat here right here so yeah i am set for pretty much over a year got plenty of it right here so i'm gonna go home and get it stocked up in the freezer and uh to let y'all know just to even let y'all know people be curious how much this cost this actually cost me 168 dollars for 75 pounds of meat so it come out to like two dollars a little bit over two dollars a pound for deer sausage for pan breakfast sausage hamburger meat and chili meat and you're not gonna get that in the store at all so that's why i always get my deer and get it processed took off the bone it saves me hundreds and hundreds of dollars throughout the year so it's all about being organized and stuff like that and that's how i do it so anyway i will probably hit y'all up when i get home and get my freeze all organized just want to let y'all know and show y'all how i do my meat throughout the year and how I save hundreds and hundreds of dollars so anyway we'll be right back all right y'all I'm back at home here and I got my freezer all organized I'm having filled it up completely but over here I got like I have also I had some ribeyes processed I didn't show y'all I got like 35 steaks here uh, ribeye steaks when I do my chicken fried ribeyes outdoor cook-offs I have ribeyes I got like 35 eight ounce steaks right here what I do, I buy the whole loin and have them cut it and process it for me and freezer wrap it. And I got my meats here. And like I was telling y'all, this stuff is freezer wrapped very good. See how they freezer wrap it? And this stuff can stay in the freezer two, three years. And you open it up and it's still just like you've just had it processed. So, yeah, I'm just showing y'all how I organize my freezer. I've got a few more things to put in here and that's it. So I got enough meat here to last me over, probably over a year. Cause I got like almost 100 pounds of meat here. Told it what's left over from last year. So anyway, thanks for y'all for joining on my trip. And like I say, a lot of people don't like deer. They don't like venison. When they hear deer, they think of Bambi. But venison is very healthy. It's very lean. No fat in it. It's very healthier than a lot of beef you get in the stores. Cause venison of course they eat off the land it's very healthy meat so anyway thanks for joining me for this video and um like i say uh every video please follow me on the social media account youtube facebook instagram twitter twist tv pinterest and oldschoolsoulfood.com until next time have a blessed old school soul food day